She learned the art of baking from her mom, which gave her the idea to make medical marijuana brownies when tuition at Seattle University dried up her savings. But her plan to help sick patients backfired when she got kicked out of school. They called me a drug dealer. The student wants to stay anonymous, saying she's faced enough since last month. That's when she baked pot brownies in a friend's kitchen, then returned to campus to catch a ride to a dispensary. My roommates got a hold of some of them. Um, they ended up selling them to a freshman girl. That freshman got sick and contacted the university. School officials suspended the pot brownie baker for the rest of the school year. They said, if you get a lawyer, we're not going to listen to the case, and we'll report it to the police. So I felt as if I could do nothing. I had no legal standing. Giovanni McKelvey runs one of two collectives working with this student to help sick patients. He says Seattle University's heavy-handed approach was unfair since they took no action against the roommates. The other people who did, however, take them and sell them, I think they should have been expelled or suspended. The fact that they're going unpunished is completely ludicrous. Seattle University refused to discuss the case, pointing to its drug policy, which prohibits the use, possession, and or distribution of marijuana on campus. The student just wants to graduate this spring, but her suspension has that on hold. That's all I have is school. It means everything. I've always loved it.